Tonight, the Detroit Police Department recognizing some of its officers who helped save a runner's life at the Detroit Free Press Marathon. CW50's April Morton shares their story. It was at this intersection at Kirby and Cass yesterday when DPD officers say they were patrolling the Free Press Marathon when someone walked up and knocked on their patrol car saying a runner had just collapsed. Things calm now in Midtown near Wayne State, but on Sunday, while runners were partaking in the Detroit Free Press Marathon, something terrifying was taking place. Um, I checked for a pulse. It was very, very, very faint, and we started uh, chest compressions. When Officer Sharp, a member of the Detroit Police Department Neighborhood Patrol Division, and his partner learned of a runner passed out about a block from them, they immediately sprang into action. As he started the compression, he asked me, could you take over? And as I took, as I took over, he constantly kept his wrist and, you know, and maintained reading of the pulse. So that's all, that all had to do with training. The officers credit that DPD training with saving the life of a 26 year old runner who went into cardiac arrest and lost his pulse twice. This, this is an example of the Detroit Police Department at its best, right? That's what we do. Uh, that's what our officers are out there doing day in and day out. The officers happy they were able to save a life, but don't call themselves heroes for doing so. I just did it as a part of a job. And, you know, he's able to live a little longer. So I feel good. It was a good feeling. That runner recovering in the hospital in Detroit, April Morton, CW50 News at 10.